Hi, welcome. This is Mark from SimpleElectronicsCourses.com. Today I wanted to talk about how electricity works, what it is, where it comes from. Electricity is defined as the flow of charge. Now there's different kinds of charge, but the one we're going to be worried about is electrons and the flow of electrons. That's what electricity is, especially when we're dealing with electronics. Here's a picture of an atom. Now an atom is made up of protons and neutrons and electrons. Now, electrons are the things swirling around the outside. The protons and neutrons are the, the particles that are in the middle. So what we're worried about are these electrons swirling around the outside. They don't really go in nice orbits like that. They, it's, it's much more like a bunch of mosquitoes swarming around your head on a, a hot Minnesota evening. Here's a picture of all the different kinds of atoms there are. Now, the kind of atom is determined by the number of electrons and protons and neutrons that are in it. If we look here, we'll see that we have an H here for hydrogen and an O for oxygen. I'm sure you've heard of water referred to as H2O. Well, if you take two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom and get them to, to, to stick together, that makes up water. So everything we have around us is either a combination of atoms or just atoms by themselves. All of these atoms have electrons, and some of them hold on to their electrons a lot stronger than other ones do. The ones that don't hold on to their electrons real tight are called conductors. The ones that do hold on to their electrons real tight are called insulators. So let's say you have a, a piece of wire, and you push an electron in on one end, and because we're dealing with conductors, each atom will push the electron bump it up over to the next one, which bumps it over to the next one, which bumps it over to the next one. Pretty soon we've got an electron that can come out the far end of the wire. Now, if we stop and look at how many electrons go past a particular point, if we've got this number, this huge number of electrons going past a particular point per second, that's referred to as one amp or one ampere. That particular number, if, if you know any chemist, you can impress them by telling them that you know Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's the number we're looking at. And that's what current is. When people talk about amps or current in electricity, it's the flow of electrons. And how many electrons are flowing is what's used to define current. So how many electrons go past the point? Well, that's current. But that also depends upon how much force there is. The more force you have on the electrons, the more are going to go past. And that force is called the electromotive force, or EMF. It's also known as voltage. Now, the higher the voltage, the more electrons flow through, the higher the current. It's very analogous to a garden hose, where the water going through it is just like the electrons going through the wire. The current is the same as the amount of water going through the hose and the voltage is equivalent to the pressure on the hose. So the higher the pressure the more water comes out just like with wire the higher the voltage the more electrons or the more current you have. Now you gotta be careful it is only an analogy. I have a friend who is trying to convince me that it was a horrible analogy because you can turn off a hose and still shake water out of the end and you can't really shake electrons out of a wire. But uh, you know, it's, it's just an analogy. We, we can only take it so far. So let's talk about how electricity is made. There are several ways that electricity is made. One is through chemical reactions. You have different metals and chemicals that you bring together and they'll generate a voltage. If you ever tear apart a 9 volt battery you'll actually see it's made up of a number of small cells that add up to be 9 volts. You can also make electricity with magnets and coils of wire. That's all a power plant is. If you take a coil of wire and pass it by a magnet or have a, a coil of wire and pass the magnetic field by it, you will induce electricity to flow through that wire. That's the way power plants work. This is a picture of a nuclear power plant. They use the nuclear uh, reaction to generate heat. Just like a coal plant 
uses the cold to generate heat, or a natural gas plant will use natural gas to make the, the heat. And that heat then turns water into steam, and they use steam to turn the large generators. And those big generators are where they have the large magnets and large coils, and they spin them, and you get electricity. The other way we can make electricity is by use of semiconductors. You take the right semiconductors and you put them in sunlight and the energy from the sunlight creates electricity. Okay, let's talk about what kinds of electricity, what types of electricity there are. Two basic types of electricity, there's alternating current and direct current. Direct current is where the voltage doesn't change and the um, uh, current doesn't change. It's, it's the, the same all the time. This is like a battery. You know, 12 volt battery, 9 volt battery, 1 half volt battery, whatever kind of battery you want. It has one voltage and it stays the same over time. Okay, so a battery might drop its voltage, but it's considered a, a, direct, a, a direct current. The other kind is called AC or alternating current. Where you'll see that you have a voltage and the current that will start and go up and then go down and go back to a particular value and that repeats over and over and over. That's alternating current. It alternates one way then the other. Here in the US that cycle from where it starts to go up and down and back toward the, the beginning point that happens 60 times a second with the wall outlets that we have. That's what comes out of the outlet in your wall is 60 Hertz or 60 cycles per second there's other countries that don't do 60 uh, hertz. Um, many countries are also 50 hertz. So we have kind of you know two different standards out there. So that's just a little bit about how electricity works and how it's made. I thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any uh, any questions, please uh, go to simpleelectronicscourses.com and uh, drop me a note. And uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.